Hey guys, um, today I'm going to be showing you my newest Lego creation, and, uh, this here I've been working on for quite a few days, um, like, I think like three now, um, and it's, uh, a Lego gun, it doesn't work, but it's still really cool, um, this, I'm not really sure what to call it, so I'm just going to call it, like, a, a, a pistol or something, I don't know, but, um, yeah, so, um, the trigger works, there's, because there's a rubber band, um, but it actually does for a few attempts this to there. Now, yeah, so the trigger works. Um, and then you're probably wondering why there's like those on the ends. So it's just like a regular pistol, right? But um so um you can there's there's attachments. Um so I'm just gonna see so there's this one. Then try to do it with one hand. You can clip those in there. And touch them up the top. And then we have a very long and unwieldy pistol, or like a Star Wars blaster, or whatever you want to call it. Um, yes, yeah, so we have that. Um, then uh, I have two magazine attachments. There's a, I have a curved, curved mag, a straight mag. I'm going to go ahead and go with a curved one right now. We've got a curved mag. And this is all um, winter camo, if you haven't already noticed. So I did totally dig through my collection of white parts. Like, all of them. There are quite a few of them. To build this, and then grays too. But, um, that. Yeah, and then I also have a foregrip here. So got this. Didn't do it in that color because that's kind of hard. So now you have like that. All right. So, but right, there's still more. So I'm gonna go ahead and cook that. That curved mag off. The curved mag falls apart a lot. I'm gonna reattach the straight mag. So I have a straight mag and uh, the scope attachment. Go ahead. And Attach the attachment. Alright, so now we have this. That still looks a little weird. This site does work. You can see through there. There. Yeah. So, um, then I have this stock attachment, which is humongous. Uh, it's like as, as long as my forearm. It's it's a couple feet long. It's it's huge, and that actually attaches on the back. So uh, here I'll can't really here I'll do it like this. That's how it goes. You need to touch it on the top. Now you have something really cool. So we have this huge sniper assault rifle type thing, and it it's really big. Um, then next I have a bipod attachment, which goes right here, you just put it right there, then uh, it folds out, and then you push the feet down, it's like that, kind of need two hands for this, but, so you go like that, and then you have the bipod, and it is absolutely, this is like the biggest gun I have like a liver belt, and then it's it it the bipod arm legs kind of go out like that when you set it down. But just measuring this table is like three feet long, so this sorry you can't really see it against the light, but measuring from about there, it's um about like two and a half feet long. It's huge. No, it's longer than two and a half feet. It's probably around three or four feet. I don't know. It's it's really long, and I spent the longest time on it since my other one. It works, but I don't really like it as much, even though this one doesn't work. So the sights do work. And so it's, like, really cool. And so I might do a tutorial. I kind of doubt it because it took me a really long time. But I hope you enjoy this video. And uh, thanks for watching. Uh, please rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.